All right, guys. So today we're going to be talking about the difference between two very important cardio, uh, coronary, I mean coronary artery diseases. They are the uh, arteriosclerosis and uh, atherosclerosis. Okay. So I want you guys to know that look at the term arteriosclerosis versus atherosclerosis. Arteriosclerosis. Look at the word bricket. Arter refers to artery. Okay. Scleros means hardening of. The O is just basically the combining form, and cis means condition of. Okay, so basically, arteriosclerosis is literally the hardening of the external lining of the artery, right? Atherosclerosis, break that into pieces, right? Break that into pieces. The word ether is Latin word for black, right? Sclerosis means hardening of. It's hardening of the plaque that's located in the lung. So both of these are both very important and serious cardiovascular diseases of the coronary artery and also the uh, associated arteries around the body, but there is a etiological and histological and anatomical difference, right? I'm going to illustrate this for you guys. So yeah, let's imagine this is the, let's say this is the right coronary artery, okay? Right coronary artery. All right. If you really want to see the, you know, it looks like this. So the spelling is right coronary artery, okay? Right coronary artery. So the right coronary artery, what? Do you think it supplies? If you say right heart, you are correct. Okay, it literally supplies. So remember, we have the four chambers of the heart. Uh, the right coronary artery basically comes and supplies the right side of the heart. Okay, and then of course you think it would be the left main coronary artery that supplies the left side of the heart. So, <clears throat> an ar an arteriosclerosis would be let's say let's say See the outer lining of the heart, of the artery. Let's say it was hardening. It's hardening. Okay, that's not a good thing whenever it hardens. Okay, so because it's hardening, the artery cannot function in one. It cannot. It, it is. Um, it cannot function properly right? because the artery uh, inside the artery lining. Let's say this is the lumen of the artery. You have what's called laminar discs, and you have smooth muscles that line the artery. And these smooth muscles are, are very um, elastic, so they are able to stretch. So the artery can accommodate increased blood flow uh, by stretching. However, in arteriosclerosis, the hardening of the artery, the outside lining of the artery, the outside lining is so hard, it has hardened. It cannot stretch, right? So that means it is a cardiovascular emergency. So incre incre increase... We have increased flow of blood going through here. Normally, this would be supposed to stretch to accommodate the increased flow, but because it's hardened, it will break. There will be a laceration of this, and blood will flow out, and this will cause a fatal bleeding. Internal bleeding is emergency, right? Um, that's very dangerous. Now, what about, you're probably asking yourself, what about atherosclerosis? What is the difference of atherosclerosis uh, <clears throat> from arteriosclerosis. So let's uh, let's illustrate that. Okay. So remember, ar arteriosclerosis is basically the hardening of the outside layer of the artery. Atherosclerosis is the hardening of the plaque in the artery. So let's say this is the right coronary artery that supplies oxygenated blood to the right side of the heart. Okay. <clears throat> the internal lining of the artery is what we call, we call this, the internal lining, the internal lining, see this one here? We call this the endothelium. The word, the prefix endo means inside. Thelium means a layer. Okay, In, inner layer. So what has happened here is that, um, let's say we have a 55-year-old um, African-American male. He is overweight. Uh, he smokes, he drinks alcohol, 
he drinks really fatty food, he does not uh, exercise properly, and um, uh, he eats, uh, you know, has uncontrolled cholesterol, uncontrolled um, lipid levels. And um, as a result, he has, you know, he has atherosclerosis. So plaques, fibro fatty plaques, are being built and accumulating in the internal lining of his artery. Okay? So this is what happens. This is atherosclerosis. That is atherosclerosis. Right? Now, because of this decreased space, the blood is hindered from going to and supplying the heart. Right? So imagine, you know, you're, let's say you're driving, uh, you know, you're driving a highway and um, you're trying to get to work. <laughs> right? You're late and there's a big traffic. Right? Let's say there's a, it's a three-lane highway and uh, the two lanes, uh, the two most lateral lanes, the side lanes are, are, you know, are occupied. There's a you know, car accident on both sides. So there's only one lane, one middle lane opening. So what's going to happen? Right? It's gonna have, you're going to have traffic. Right? Cars won't get to the, their uh, you know, intended destination in time. Same concept applies here in a microscopic way. Right? Because of this atherosclerosis, this blood... This oxygenated blood cannot travel in time to, you know, cannot travel fast enough or supply the, uh, the demand of this, of, of this area of the heart, the right heart. So as a result, what happens is this heart, this side of the heart, experiences what we call ischemic heart disease, IH, IHD. Ischemic heart disease. Uh, this patient can experience uh, angina, right? He can experience arrhythmia, okay? And this is a medical emergency because you see, if this little opening space here is clogged, what's going to happen? There's going to be no oxygen flow to the heart, to this side of the heart. So this heart, this side of the heart will experience what is called an MI. An MI stands for, can you read that? Myocardial infarction, also known as heart attack. Right? This area of the heart will experience infarction. And, you know, that's not a good thing, right? Because, you know, since this side of the heart has, let's say this, this area here has experienced infarction, now, the rest of the heart has to increase in size to accommodate for the failing heart, right? This is called cardiac hypertrophy. This is a side effect of all of this. If this uh, is, unleft, is left untreated and actually uh, is occluded, then, you know, a person can have a massive MI. He can survive from the MI or he can also die from the MI, right? People that have really massive occlusions of, let's say, over 80%, um, they are in danger of massive occlusion, massive MI as a result. Right? It's a very deadly disease. Okay? So that's the difference between arteriosclerosis and uh, atherosclerosis. Okay? Good.